I'm Ginger Hefner, Maltz Gallery Registrar and Lead Preparator. The tools you'll need for this job are a tape measure, a level, a pencil, a pad of paper, a calculator if you're not math-minded, and a hammer or a drill. The picture hanging hardware you'll need are D-rings, picture wire, and cleats. The different types of mounting hardware you could use are nails or screws, or picture hangers, and drywall anchors. Start by measuring the height of the work. Now measure the distance between the top of the frame and the top of the picture wire. Pull the wire up toward the top using two fingers, like this. When doing this, also note the distance between your fingers. Now, when you want to hang a work in a gallery or hallway, you'll want to hang it at a standard hanging height between 54 and 58 inches to vertical center of the work. For this demonstration, we're using 58 inches to center. To find the height at which you'll attach the mounting hardware to the wall, measure up from the floor and mark the standard hanging height. Now divide the height of the work by two and add this to the standard hanging height. This is where you'll make a mark to indicate where the top of the work should be, in this case, 65 inches. Then subtract the distance from the top of the work to the top of the picture wire that we measured earlier, which gives us a height of 62 and a half inches. This is where we'll attach the mounting hardware to the wall. Then measure out from the center of where you'd like the work to hang and mark two mounting points, which is the distance between the center of the points on the picture wire and attach the appropriate hardware. Now, hook the picture wire onto the mounting hardware. You might want to use your fingers to help guide the wire onto the hooks. Then, check that the work is level. And you're done. Begin by measuring the height of the work. Then, Slide the cleat into the groove in the frame. The bevel of the cleat fits together with the bevel of the stretcher bar or frame of the work. Then measure the distance from the top of the work to the bottom of the cleat. As before, we'll be hanging the work to 58 inches at the center. Measure up from the floor and mark this on the wall. Now divide the height of the work by two and add it to the 58 inch center point. This will be the height of the top of the work. Now subtract the distance from the top of the work to the bottom of the cleat and mark this on the wall. This is where you'll attach the cleat. Level the cleat while holding it to the wall and lightly trace the bottom in pencil. Then secure the cleat to the wall with screws through pre-drilled holes. Check to make sure the work is level and you're done. Begin by measuring the height and then the width of the work. Then measure the distance from the top of the work to the top of the D-ring. Now measure the distance between the centers of the right and left D-rings. Then measure the distance from the edge of the work to the center of the D-ring. Ideally, this will be the same on both sides. Now, use a level and very lightly mark a vertical line on the wall at the edge of where you want the works to hang. You might want to use blue painter's tape to avoid visible pencil marks. Now, like before, measure up from the floor and mark the standard hanging height of 58 inches. Divide the height of the work by two and add that to the standard hanging height. Now subtract the distance from the top of the work to the top of the D-ring. From the edge of the blue tape, mark the distance from the D-ring to the edge of the work. Then make a second mark the distance between the D-rings. 
Once you've driven in the nails, mount the work on the wall. You might want to angle the D-rings out from the work a bit to make it easier to catch on the nails. At this point, check to make sure the work is level and you're done.